Good morning, my dear students. Hope you are doing well, doing all the given works by the teachers. And uh, I request everyone to listen to this lesson. I hope you have already downloaded the textbooks, PDF textbooks from some sites like Diksha app or ePatashala or from any other apps. Okay, it's quite easy to open your textbooks. If you have downloaded your textbooks, you can open and check how this lesson is going on because when it comes to languages, I have already told you, you should be aware with the textbooks because every single word, you need to be known the meaning of it and you have to use them in your sentences of your own. Okay, in your own sentences also, you can use it. Yesterday, when I started, the best Christmas present in the world giving presents or gifts to others will give pleasure to us because there is a purpose of giving gifts okay whenever we have our birthdays and whenever we wanted to give it to somebody on marriage days and whenever your um, parents wedding anniversary you'll make some cards and give them in order to make them happy you know the value of giving gifts and receiving gifts okay let's see yesterday we have discussed uh, some new words like uh, uh, this incident took place in Bradport actually. In Bradport, he had taken the chest of drawers. It was coming for cheaper price. Actually, the chest of drawers is very expensive article. But to our uh, writer or the author of this lesson, Michael Morpogo, had found this chest of drawers for a cheaper price. And when he had taken to his garage, he had taken it home and he put it in his uh, behind the garage and on Sunday he wanted to uh, mend that chest of drawers because chest of drawers is required to be mended so one fine day he just wanted to uh, start up his work that is the Christmas Eve and he tried to open the chest of drawers first two uh, drawers were being opened but the last drawer had taken much a force actually he had used his brutal force to open it there i stopped and but curiosity got the better of my scruples it usually does actually he feels hesitate to do something actually he doesn't like to after opening after a great force he had opened one of the chest of drawers and it is consisting a small tin box in which the letter is uh, kept it is being written by somebody Jim and a new character is being introduced that we had seen a day before yesterday and let's go on from there and his curiosity but curiosity got the better of my scruples it usually does and when something is uh, when we try to do something actually we will have a great curiosity out of his curiosity he just opened the last chest of drawers the chest was opened using his brutal folds and finally it's been opened inside the box there was an envelope the address read mrs jim uh, mcpherson 12 copper beaches britport inside the box there was an envelope on the envelope inside the letter they had he had already read Okay, Jim's last letter received on January 25th, 1915. Now, on the envelope, he could see the address. On the envelope, he could see the address. What is the address? Mrs. Jim McPherson, 12 Copper Beaches, Bridport, Dorset. I took out the letter and unfolded it. Okay, he had not folded the letter. He had kept it open and it was written in pencil. Usually the letters are used, I mean, the letters are written in pen or in ink. But here, this letter is not being written in ink. It is written in pencil and don't say that written with, written in pencil, okay, written in a pen, okay. And he had it, it, it was written in pencil and dated at the top December 26th, 1914. It was December 26th, 1914. Okay. 
and Jim's last letter received on January 25th, 1915. Okay, how much time it had taken to reach this lady, Mrs. Jim? Actually, Jim is the husband of Mrs. Jim, and Mrs. Jim, okay, received her husband's letter after one year. That is December 26th, 1914. Actually, sorry. Uh, Jim's last letter received January twenty fifth, nineteen fifteen. The letter is written December twenty sixth, nineteen fourteen. She received in nineteen fifteen, but he had written December twenty sixth, nineteen. Means soon after the Christmas day, in the year nineteen fourteen, he had written. Jim had written letter letter to Mrs. Jim, but Mrs. Jim received this letter. On January twenty fifth, nineteen fifteen, almost not almost. It's already one year past. How it is written? You see, dear Connie, it's Connie McPherson, Jim McPherson. Actually, the name of this lady is Connie McPherson. After she got married to Jim, she's been called as Jim McPherson. Dearest Connie. it means mr jim okay dearly calls this lady as connie dear is connie i write to you in a much happier frame of mind okay i write this letter with too much of gladness why you know because something wonderful has just happened just happened in the sense recently one wonderful thing had happened with me what is that that i must tell you about at once I just wanted to tell you at once, without any further delay. I just wanted to open my mind, and uh, I just wanted to describe you. We were all standing to in our trenches yesterday morning. Yesterday morning, yesterday in the sense December twenty fifth. But he had written later the very next day, December twenty sixth, nineteen fourteen. He says that yesterday morning we were standing in our trenches. and i just wanted to show you some pictures what we have uh, seen yesterday okay yeah this is the chest of drawers one of the drawers is opened out you see it's pulled out the remaining chests were closed this is called the chest of drawers usually the chest of drawers is a piece of furniture on which the decorative articles like vases with flowers photo frames and some important uh, and showy articles are kept on chest of drawers okay okay in the chest in the drawers we will keep certain things okay which ever we felt that uh, very important and handy yes and he mentions that in the trenches yesterday morning christmas morning it was crisp and quiet all about actually we were not in good mood he was talking about something both the parties were not in good mood it was crisp and quite uh, uh quite all about as beautiful a morning as i ever seen that morning was such a beautiful morning as cold and frosty as a christmas morning should be okay how the christmas mornings are usually felt and we uh, really feel the atmosphere that the same way that christmas morning was also appeared to mcpherson jim mcpherson 